Palestinian journalist Mohammed al qiq has been on hunger strike for more than 90 days, leaving him near death. He's one of hundreds of Palestinians held by Israel in administrative detention, which means they're imprisoned without charge or trial. Going on hunger strike is one way prisoners can protest. It's an extreme and risky measure, but al qiq isn't the first to try it. In 2013, 30,000 California prisoners held a two-month-long hunger strike to draw attention to the state's use of prolonged solitary confinement. One prisoner died during the strike, which was called off after state lawmakers agreed to hold public hearings on the use of long-term isolation in prisons. But this wasn't the longest hunger strike in recent history. In 2000, Turkish prisoners carried out a death fast to oppose the isolation cells where many political prisoners were kept. Over the next six years, 122 of them died and many others were left permanently disabled from the effects of starvation. Most recently in 2015, student activists jailed for protesting in favor of education reform in Myanmar went on a hunger strike to demand their freedom and the freedom of every political prisoner in the country. They ended the strike only when the military government that jailed them lost the national election. But many of the students still remain behind bars. And then there are the prisoners held on American territory at Guantanamo Bay. They've organized hunger strikes in response to years of imprisonment without charge or trial. Prisoners on hunger strike hope to pressure governments to release them out of fear of a fallout from a prisoner dying. So in response to these hunger strikes, many countries, including the United States, will force feed the prisoners to keep them alive. This is in spite of the United Nations view that force feeding violates the prisoners' human rights. Force feeding means prisoners are fed through a tube inserted into the nose. They are restrained and given drugs to prevent the involuntary vomiting that can occur. If prisoners resist or something goes wrong, injuries can range from bloody and broken noses to pneumonia, a collapsed lung, or even death. It's no surprise then that the World Medical Association says it's unethical for doctors to participate in force feeding. For many prisoners, going on a hunger strike is the only way to protest. And for al qiq who's gone without food longer than any other Palestinian prisoner, it could mean protesting to the death.